Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. As you can tell, I am your WWE Champion, LT Spear, reporting from you live from my room. Okay, so, um, I didn't plan to make a video today. I have a video going up already today, um, on Monday. When is it being recorded? Uh, February 1st, so we're done with January. And one twelve of 2021 is already over. I'm in a very good mood. Um, no school today. I, uh, like I said, I didn't have a plan to do a video with one of those where Matt, uh, my brother was supposed to be at school. I was just going to chill all day, have the day off, be like, well, if I get a chance to record, that's great. If I don't, that's perfectly fine. Um, he went to go get a COVID test because he'd been blowing his nose for the past couple of days. So we're just getting that shut out. And, uh, last night, let's get to the topic of the video. I don't even know if he's going to get the, the full 10 minutes or whatever that I would try to strength, strive for for the past month, but I don't care. But, uh, I just wanted to talk. I'm very happy. Very, very happy. Um, the Royal Rumble was last night. They really put on one of my favorite pay-per-views. Um, let's see. We got Royal Rumble. WrestleMania, of course, but that gets draining. Money in the Bank just for one match. Survivor Series just because of one match. But Royal Rumble, very good. Um, I liked how the show wasn't too long. And it wasn't full of all of these matches that we didn't need. We had Drew McIntyre beat Goldberg, right decision, even though it took a couple of spears, and we had a jackhammer, and somehow Drew didn't die. But we had Claymore and a spear through the barricade, but Drew walked out the winner as he should. Let's see, we also had, well, go backward, on the pre-show, Shannon Baver and Nia Jack did win it. Tag Team Championships, which I wanted to happen, so I was very happy about that. Um, you know, Lizzie Evan with the brass knuckle just punched Charlotte Flair's lights out. Oh, Jesus Christ, I watched that match. Um, and it, it was, ooh, that was, that was, hmm, hmm, can't wait to see how that turns out tonight on Raw. And so we had the new Tag Team Champion. Um, let's go to another match. The Universal Championship, as... Uh, well, Moraine defeats Kevin Owens, and it was a, it was berserk. Oh my God, Kevin Owens putting Roman through tables and power pow bomb and spears and handcuffs and oh my, it was crazy. No Jay Uso, so is this the end of the feud? Um, we're gonna get to the Royal Rumble real quick, so we're gonna discuss all that in a couple minutes. What else we had? We had Sasha Banks versus Kamala, and a very entertaining match. That was a very good match. Sasha Banks picking up the the win, as she should. Very, very good match. Um, were there any other matches? I don't, I don't know if there were any other important ones. But let's get to the Rumbles. The Rumbles were spectacular. Let's start with the women's one. We have, uh, I forget who came in at one and two. It doesn't matter, but Bianca Belair at three. Naomi at two. Bailey at one. I love how I say it doesn't matter and just list it off in reverse order. Great job. Um, but this was a banging great rumble. Oh my god, it was so good. Probably my favorite. Um, this takes over. Well, there's only been four rumbles, so that means my least favorite is 18. And then probably 2019. I mean, 2020, then 2019, and then 2021 is probably my favorite. It was great. One, Bianca Belair won. Uh, Naomi did the cool spot to get back in. We had Victoria come back. We had Julie and Billy, uh, Julian Hall and Billy Cake, uh, team up. We had Chassie Blackheart with her tension. Just, we had the alliances with, with, uh, Billy Cake trying to align herself with everyone with. Uh, with Shannon Baszler, Tony Storm, Ch Chelsea Blackheart, eventually with Julian Hall, gets dumped, get turned on by the Riot Squad, Lana comes back and eliminates, uh, Nia Jax, Shayna Baszler gets thrown out by Nia Jax, who was my pick to win it, and, um, anything else? So yeah, uh, and then Bianca and Rhea Ripley have a slug fest after they eliminate Charlotte Flair and after they get rid of Natalya who came in at 30. But I am very, very happy that Bianca Belair won the Rumble. I know in the video that went up yesterday, I said I wanted Shayna Baszler, but it's sort of, it's it's my favoritism. I sort of look at it with rose tinted glasses. Like when I make my baseball prediction, I, I put my cub biasness all over that stuff. When I do my basketball predictions, I have my 
Portland Trailblazers by and it's plastered all over it. And I wanted Shayna Baszler. She did not need to be in the tag team division. She did not need to be the tag team champions. As soon as she won that match on the pre-show, I'm like, she's not winning. She is not winning the Rumble. Because there's no way they would have her win the match and then go on to have a singles match at Mania. That means you have to have the you have the person that just won the Royal Rumble look weak in some kind of defeat. And oh what the oh my it's it's stupid. It's stupid that but Shannon Baylor should be pushed more. I had bullets as a good one and she almost went into theme mode and then real was like yeet just out of the way, just goodbye. Um it was it was so good. It was so darn good. And I probably should have put spoiler at the top of this, but spoiler. It's gonna be in the title, so yeah. And the description. So it, this this is a spoiler. But oh it was so good. Bianca Belair deserved the world. Her fiend not just her fiend song's good. I love her hair, how she used it as a whip, but just her style of wrestling. She is the EST for a reason, the fact that the strongest, the best. She is amazing and I love Bianca Belair. Where did this go for her? Um, four main champions right now. I'm putting four in there. So we got Sasha Banks on SmackDown. She is on the SmackDown brand. Will she go after Sasha? Sasha versus Bianca? Okay. Will we have Asuka versus Bianca? Maybe. Will we have Io Shirai versus Bianca Belair? Or Kaylee Ray of NST UK versus Bianca Belair at WrestleMania? I don't know if Kiri Ray is trapped, not trapped, stuck, not stuck, staying in the United Kingdom because of travel restriction, because I know the president enforced that on some countries, so I know that applies to the United Kingdom. I don't know what part, uh, what, do they record in London? I don't know where they record the show uh, NFT UK at, but... I mean, Tony Storm was able to get back over here, but they haven't reinforced it yet, so we'll, we'll just have to see. Pete Dunn was able to come back over... Um, they hinted that Walter, Walter might be coming back, so can KB Ray come back? The Griddle Young Veterans also came back from NFT UK, so a lot of people from across the pond are coming back. So, of these four, I would want to see KB Ray versus Bianca Ray, because we haven't seen KB Ray ever. Not in regular NST, not Raw, not SmackDown, she wasn't part of the Survivor Series NST, Team NST thing. Or was she? Was she she must have gotten eliminated quickly or wasn't even in the build for it in 2019. But yeah, she'd been just killing it with Piper Nivens over uh, Rhea Ripley before she came back over in um, NFT UK. I would love to see that match. I don't think they're going to do Io Shirai because, oh, Raquel Gonzalez and Io Shirai just prints money. We also got Mercedes Martinez, Amber Moon might throw her hat in there, Tony Storm, Candice Ray might, once we get done with the, with the Dusty Classics, uh, Candice Ray might, and Indy Hartwell, you know, in the way, the rest of the way with Austin Fury and Johnny Gargano can help her get back into the title picture, so I see that being very stat. Um... And then Sasha Banks versus Belair. Interesting, interesting. And then on Raw, would they do, are they going with an Asuka and Alexa Bliss sort of direction? You know, you have like Fiend Alexa versus Asuka? Or that'd be, in, I mean, so right now it looks like it's going to be Bianca Belair versus Sasha Banks at WrestleMania, which. Honestly, I'd be down for it. I'd be down for that kind of feud. But would one of them have to turn heel? I know Sasha Banks is a pretty good heel. We've not seen Bianca Belair as a heel. She was a face in NST, a face on SmackDown. So, I don't know how good her heel work can be from any indie promotions. But I don't see her being a heel. I do not see her as a heel. So, if they were to do this, Sasha Banks would have to become the heel. And she is a darn good heel. I've seen it out of her. Or are they? Or would they do like have Alexa Bliss? Um, defeat Asuka, like, an Elimination Chamber or something like that, and then Bianca goes out there, Alexa, so you already have the heel established, so that way you don't have Asuka turn heel, you don't stop Sasha's momentum, or anything like that, uh, a lot of direction this can go. 
and also Nikki Clark came back. We saw Mickey James. Just a lot of that was a great women's rumble, probably the best so far. But we're going over to the men's now, and the men were just as incredible. We started with Randy Orton and Edge, or Edge and Randy Orton, I should say. And those two brawl, Edge hit the execution on the table, takes Orton out of it, and they were just fantastic. At the front of my mind right now, we have. Carlito, Carlito coming back. He got like the apple. I spin the face of people who don't want to be cool. And uh, Shims gave Macamoja take the apple and sent him with a bash diving. Like, we can't be spitting. We got a pandemic. Uh, but we got Shimke. We had Cesaro. We had a returning Seth Rollins. We had my pick, Daniel Bryan. Um, Christian! Freaking Christian! Christian came back. I love Christian. Christian is probably a top five wrestler for me. And Christian came back last night. And I loved it. 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 Christian. I could watch Christian all day. He called Captain Charisma for a reason. We had Shaman. We had, uh, was Keith Lee in there? We had Lashley, we had Big E, we so many, so many great, great things. We had Seth Rollins throughout Daniel Bryan, um, I was going for Daniel Bryan, but you know. Are we going to do like a Seth Rollins and Daniel Bryan now, can send Rollins it back from his kid? Are we coming back from that? Damian Priest, Damian Priest got in there and showed out, he eliminated, what was it, Miz and Morrison and AJ Styles? The pre eliminate styles too, uh, but it was it was it was so good. Oh my god, that one was so good. And then you have Edge throws out Rollins, and you're like, I won, I won, RKO. And then reverse the momentum, and he's gone. Edge from number one. Now there's three men who have won for number one. But I I secretly was faking myself. They're just gonna keep saying there's only two men. One Shawn Michael, the other is Edge. Not even gonna mention Chris Benoit. Like, boop, he gone. Just officially eliminates him from that. Now they don't have to say two men have won from the number one spot. One was Shawn Michaels. And now they can say the other is Edge. And to a new wrestling fan, it's like, sit. They're gonna movie that 100%. And they're like, what's 2004? Oh, we don't talk about that. We don't talk about that, little Johnny. But we don't talk about it. But, um... Yeah, that was aw- it was awesome. I'm so glad we didn't see Brock Lesnar come in. That would have been a cool return. I'm glad Goldberg didn't come back. Um, I'm trying to think, did anyone else make a... I forgot Victoria. I forgot to mention Victoria. Uh, she came in, she even had the tarantula, so you know. Carmella was in the first one, too, and she, uh, like, Reginald, the Somalia, caught her, and then she, she jumps out of his arm, and, just, and Reginald just took a super kick straight to the face from Tamina, so even though she was eliminated, but, dang, that was, that was, uh, that was, mm, mm next time jump onto the apron, or something, Carmelo, but, I'm trying to think. Men's Rumble. Were there any other? He came. We saw Kane. Yeah, Kane came back. And we tried to do a Team Hell No reunion and just get chump swam down your boy. Nope. Get out of here. Um. But yeah, that was that was so cool. That was it was a really good Rumble. Um, the Vic beat 2008 for me. I don't know. It definitely is in the probably the top two. 2012, 2020, one, and then. 2008. I don't know 2008 which stands. I had to watch them back, back to back, um, to get a real feel for which one I like more, but I think that's where I'm going to end it. Were there any other matches? Uh, uh, no, no tag team championships. No, we just had the two top title, the Universal and WWE. We had Sasha. You think I had to watch two different people review this, I would have known by now. But I think that's everything. If I got any, if I forgot anything, probably not going to be the most important thing in the world. But, as always, this is your W. WE Champion, LT Spirit. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Oh, I also got the WWE Network, so I'm going to be watching Raw tonight, once again. So, uh, I'm not doing my... Like recaps, or whatever, because there's plenty of people on YouTube to do that, but plenty of more daily content I want to do because I'm actually going to be in the loop and I know what I'm talking about. Riddle, I'm very excited to see where Riddle goes. He did good in the Rumble. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.